Weston here from Swift, and today I want to talk to you about two of our handlebar bags um, that are soft mount wrapless bag that we're offering in 2021. Our, our Dea handlebar bag, and new for 2021, our Kestrel handlebar bag. Now, at first glance, these bags might seem to have really similar form factor in use. Um, but they do have a key or a couple key differences that I want to talk to you about. Now, most of the main differences between the bags are the way the Molly system integrates with our accessory bags. Now, the Ardea pack is a dual purpose handlebar and hip bag that we're offering. The Molly webbing on this bag is on the wings of the hip straps that are exposed when you use the bag as a hip bag. When used in handlebar mode, these wings tuck behind the mesh backing of the bag and aren't exposed. So accessory pouches such as our sidekick pouch or our rando pocket can only be used when the when the hip uh, straps are out and the bag is being used on the body. Now our new bag, the Kestrel for 2021, is a dedicated handlebar bag. The Molly webbing is sewn onto the back side of the bag. So this is where you'll attach the accessory pouches on the right and the left side of the bike stem. Now this bag also has anchor points on the top and the bottom of the bag. So you can attach uh, a dry bag or I'll show you a mock-up on one of the bikes here that I have um, with a down jacket or you could use a temp body or any kind of soft um, cylindrical bag and lash it down on the back. So I want to show you three different bike setups that I have showing you the versatility of these bags. Um, first up is the Kestrel. Now this is a setup that we've got here using the two accessory bags on the back side of the Kestrel. The rando pocket on the right and the sidekick with the water bottle on the left. Now, if I can pick it up and kind of show you here, we've got a fixed camera, um, but there's a little bit of a bird's eye mount. So the accessory pouches mount to the left and the right of the stem, and then strap onto the bottom of the Kestrel, I've got a little wind layer there. Another option that I've got up here with the Kestrel is using the rear anchor points for um, a lash down for a down puppy in this instance. You could also use it for a tent body, a sleeping pad. And I've just got two volley straps lashed down onto the back side of the bag there. And on the bottom of the bag, I've strapped down a mini pump. And this setup is a great light setup, quick setup um, for a day ride. The nice thing about this bag is it all attaches via these two mini bole straps on the handlebars. So the whole unit is essentially kind of modular with, with the two reversing side pockets, but everything comes off in one piece. In this case, it would come off with the down puppy. In the previous example, the two, um, the sidekick and the Randall pocket would come off with the bag. So everything's fairly quick to get off and on. So 
those are the two ways that you can use the Kestrel um, in, in various configurations. And now I'll go ahead and show you the Eric data. All right, this is our data handlebar bag. And as you can see in handlebar mode, the waist straps are tucked behind the mesh backing on the bag. So that way they're out of the way and they won't get tangled up in your spokes. Now on the bottom of this bag, I've mounted a um, rod tube for like a Tenkara rod. So this bag also has mounting points on the bottom for any cylindrical object. You could also put a mini pump down here or like um, a windbreaker like it did on the Kestrel example. So this is the RDA in uh, handlebar mode. So when you remove the Ardea from the bike, pull out the straps from the side. One and two. And clip it off. So those are the two uses for the Ardea as the hip bag and as a handle. So basically, when, when you're trying to decide between which bag will be better use for you, um, it boils down to if you desire the hip bag um, versatility that the RDA offers, or if you would like a little bit more on the bike versatility uh, that the Kestrel offers. So they both have a, a roughly the same capacity. The main compartment is right around two liters. So size-wise, you're gonna be able to carry roughly the same amount with them, um, but when trying to make a decision on where to invest, we think the main deciding factor would be the hit that I use at their day. All right, if anybody has any questions, I've got Jason here in the chat, and um, he can help us out, and I'll get him answered. Can we offer that in custom? We don't offer either of these bags at, as a custom at the moment. So for 2021, um, our, our soft colorways will be the dark green X pack, the coyote tan X pack, and the black X pack. And those are all going to be a VX21 weight X pack. All right, I think that about does it. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at, info at builtbyswift.com and we can get any questions answered for you. Um, I hope that was helpful for everyone today. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you later.